Well, welcome back everybody. This is Linda and this is Hands That Cook. Today I'm going to make something I'm going to call peach puffs. I, I, they look like a turnover so they could be peach turnovers. I don't know, you know. But um, before we even get started making them I want to show you that I made I took a pound of frozen peaches and I thawed them out and then I snipped them up with my scissors and I put enough water over them after they were thawed and put them on the boil. I put a little over a half a cup of sugar in here and just a touch of um, vanilla extract and a little bit of lemon juice. Now if you like your peaches sweeter you add more sugar. I, I've seen um, a cup of sugar added to these. But then when they started to cook down and I didn't want them to get any um, softer or they are soft but I wanted some peaches left in there. You know I didn't want it all uh, mushed up. So um, I took maybe an eighth of a cup maybe a quarter of a cup of water and added some cold water and I added some um, cornstarch to it and uh, when it thickened to my liking I took it off the heat and let it cool completely. Now this is a sheet of puff pastry they come in a box like this and there's two to a box. You have to use it while it's cool. So I have got it on my little um, pastry cloth here and the bottom of these are actually made to cut the circle for you. A lot of people don't know that. They still, they're still trying to cut them. So what I'm going to do is just press this down on here and get my little pastries cut out, my circles, and I think I'm going to get four to a sheet. Keep your pastry, <coughs> excuse me, cold. Keep your little puff pastries cold. I got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Alright, so I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to take one of them. Can you see? Yeah. And then you lay it in the center of your uh, little pastry cutter. I don't, let's see what these are called. They are called, I bought them off Amazon, dough press set. You get three. This is the middle size. All right, now, let's sit, get this where you can see it. I'm going to take some of my peach mixture, which is totally cool, and put it in the center. Preheat your oven, don't forget. Then you just close it up. Now I've got a baking sheet over here. See, it comes out perfect. Perfect. I'm going to cut some slits in it before I put it in the oven. But I'm going to do as many as I can. Looks like I'm going to be able to do eight. I may have more peaches than that, but you know, you can put it on ice cream or a pound cake or whatever's left over. If I have any. If I have any left over. So. Here's my second one. Put my peach mixture on there. And 
I'm going to fold it over. And there you are. It's, it's perfect, right? Okay, what I'm going to do now... Well, that didn't turn out right. Well, we'll work with it. I'm going to finish up the rest of them and then I'll bring you back. I brought you back just a minute because the first pastry sheet I rolled out some and I had plenty of room to do four. The second one I did not. And you can see this is straight right here because it went over. But what you all you have to do is just pull it out. Pull it out, stretch it out some. And it doesn't matter if it's round or not because the little dough thing is going to cut it up for you. But see, you pull it out some and it'll fit in there. After you've gotten it pulled out, or the, you know, as much as it needs to be. And the filling needs to go in the direction that this is going to fold over. And if you overfill it, uh, what's going to happen is it'll squeeze out, even using this thing. It will squeeze out, and that's what happened to the one I said this one messed up. It was because I overfilled it. So, this is the last one. I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I'm going to show you the... Um, my little platter full. <laughs> I didn't get this one quite right. I don't know why. But we'll make do. It's, it's all sealed. And when I make the little slits, and I'm going to show you this, I'm going to make sure that that knife went all the way through. I'm going to, well, wait a minute, and I'll show you one. Because I, you know, this filling is not as um, tight as I'd like for it to be. So it's probably going to spill out. So here's my little um, my little pies, and I've saved one right here. I put the knife in and make a little slit, and then I wiggle it around because I want that slit open. I'm gonna mess this one up showing you. All right, probably more than I need. And I'm going to put another one over here. And this is going in the oven now. 400, and, 400 degrees. And see, I overfill this one a little. You can see it's, all, it's coming out at the bottom. That is human error. All right, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Well, our puff pastries are done. Mine took a little bit longer than 15 minutes. And my... Hindsight advice is don't put them on a tray. Don't put them on a, <clears throat> a tray inside your baking sheet. Let them rest or sit on a, either a parchment paper or aluminum foil. I think they'll puff up better. And the dough that I had left over, I made these little puff things. I put butter and cinnamon on them and the rest are the puff pastries and we waited till they uh, <clears throat> cooled off some so Sam could test them and he's right here so let's see what he thinks. Are all these mine? No, th those are yours right in front of you. <laughs> that one? Well, yeah, I'll protect My grandmother used to make these when I was young. Of course, she fried them. They fried everything. 
Well, I could have fried them, but these, these, these are better for I you. I believe they are, and they're beautiful. Let's see if Nice they, and flaky. If they taste as good as they look. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that puff puff pastry is delicious. And the uh, yeah, it's light and flaky. Yeah, that peach filling is great. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I bet I could eat all those. Well, you probably could if you can. Mm. Eat, if you can eat a half a gallon of ice cream in a day, you can eat these. That is delicious, folks. Try this. I guess you can put any kind of fruit in them if they, you can. If they have a favorite fruit. I just happen to have some frozen peaches and that's what I use. And these are, I love this peach. Mm-hmm. You knocked it out of the park on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Sam. This friend of mine the other day mm -hmm. was telling me how he took a bubble bath. He said, especially if he didn't have any Mr. Bubbles. I said, how's that? He said, yeah. He said, I go in the bathroom and I run the water in the tub. And then I go to the kitchen and I eat two or three bowls of beans. And then he said, I go back and get in the bathtub. That's what he, <laughs> that's his story. I didn't like that one. Well, okay. I, <laughs> they're getting hard to find. <laughs> well, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm scraping the bottom trying to find jokes. Somebody send me a few if they know any good one. That's delicious, Linda. I mean, should I eat one more? <laughs> well, if you want to. They're so light and just delicious. Well, you, you, I gave you a fork because I was afraid the filling would still be real hot, but it's not, it's is not, it? It's not. It's cool. It's you can not. pick it up with your fingers, I guess. Well, thanks, guys, for coming in today. I always, always, always appreciate it. It means a lot to me, and it's a blessing to have followers and subs. So thank you all my new and old subs. I appreciate it very much. Um, like, give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell next to subscribe and it'll uh, notify you every time I upload a new video. So until next time you all, take care and God bless you all.